Despite President Yoweri Museveni's dismissal of the debate on the amendment of Article 102B of the Constitution to lift the age limit for the presidency from 75 years, many legislators are continuing to publicly take position on the matter. Those that subscribe to the ruling party NRM have showed support for the amending of the article of the Constitution, but there have also been dissenting voices. And, uh... It is this ongoing discussion that has prompted Speaker Kadaga's advice to members of parliament not to be swayed by this matter until it officially comes to the House. You cannot discuss something you have not seen. What views are you giving? Because the bill is not there. If the bill was there, so I object to part A, I would object to part B, and so on. So I told them until the bill comes, stop talking about it because we don't know. It's not here. Kadaga, who is also the Kamali District Woman MP, says there is time to debate on the transition since the 10th parliament still has three more years to go. I guess the uh, time will come when we have discussed it. We have discussed it at some stage. I think that we should first do the work for which we have voted. You know, there are things they, they, people wanted, the roads, the medicine, uh, service delivery, uh, appointment of do medical personnel, appointment of teachers, etc. You know, this, this is the second year after election. In September 2016, Kadaga blocked a motion by Nachifma County MP Kafero Sechitoreko seeking to lift the age limits for judges and electoral commissioners until government comes up with comprehensive political, social and constitutional reforms. Some legislators wonder why the speaker would allow government to table a single constitutional amendment on land. Kadaga says she has reasons for her decision. I, I find myself in difficulty. Should I say the government don't, don't table this bill? I don't know what is in the bill. I cannot speculate on what is contained in it. So I think it's better to give it to the people who would ordinarily handle it, and then they'll come back to us and say, we want the comprehensive law, we don't want this. On the parliament's relationship with the executive, Kadaga cited the slow pace at which government brings business to the house. If the year ends, and maybe out of uh, 50 bills, only 15 has come, uh, it's not good. So it's up to the government to move quickly on what they need. Uh, that's why I'm saying that otherwise for us we shall continue with the private members' business because the constitution allows it. We will make our own laws. Kadaga spoke to NTV in Nigeria's capital, Abuja, where she has been attending the Commonwealth Speakers and Presiding Officers Conference. It's for coffee. Habad Ziwa, NTV Weekend Edition. <laughs> Not a golden one. <laughs>